Well, day three of the special session on public safety is over. The Senate passed four bills. They have tabled dozens, which basically means they probably won't come back. Many folks are not happy about this either. Some started yelling right as the Senate finished for the day. And we saw the same in some committees as well, like the House Civil Justice Committee. They were talking about House Bill 7064. It would let any law enforcement officer, current or former or military, carry a gun at schools. Covenant school families were there. You see them holding signs or dressed in covenant colors. Those families do not want this bill to pass. I am begging you on behalf of my children who are forever traumatized and will forever have to live with the trauma of being hunted at school to please pass no on this bill. It passed the Civil Justice Committee 13 to 4. Covenant parents started shouting at lawmakers. And for the second day in a row, people had to leave the room. This bill was also heard among leaders in the Education Administration Committee. They voted nine to nine, which means it ultimately failed. You can see the relief from the Covenant parents. The Covenant families joined hands and, as you heard right there, sang. Covenant school families have been here all three days so far. They say that bill is a step back. This is a really sad day for our state. All we can do is tell our stories and tell them exactly as they happened. And it still felt like we weren't listened. The Senate already tabled that bill, so again, they're not likely to become law. Here's what did pass the Senate, free gun locks, a faster timeline to tell the TBI about criminal proceedings, more funding for SROs and mental health, and the TBI has to report on human trafficking to the state. But all those bills still have to pass the House, and so far, the House is moving at a slower pace. They're going over bills the Senate has tabled. We asked Representative William Lamberth about it. We have 30-something bills that are still pending in the House, and I trust my Senate colleagues um, at some point to take up many of those bills. But it is not looking likely, according to Lieutenant Governor McNally. It takes both houses to adjourn, so uh, we don't want to get into a position where we're just going on and on, not doing anything. Well, you heard him there. Both chambers have to agree to adjourn. We've heard that could happen tomorrow. Now, you might have noticed parents holding signs, and on Monday, the House passed a rule stopping people from holding signs. Today, though, a judge blocked it. There is a hearing about the rule set for September 5th, but the special session will likely be over long before then. So for now, you can bring your signs. And the ACLU is suing the House leader and House clerk over this, removing three women from the House chamber. This was Tuesday, and the women had signs. Here's what the ACLU says. The ban on silently holding signs in House galleries directly undermines Tennesseans' First Amendment rights. 